Hey guys, it's Cam from Craft and Tailored, and in this episode of What Is On My Wrist, we're talking about a really interesting Mathy Tiso chronograph from the 1970s. It's an exotic dial. You don't see too many of these guys, and I've really enjoyed having this one on wrist, so let's get into the details. Mathy Tiso is different than the brand Tiso. Uh, two separate things. Mathy Tiso was founded in Le Ponce de Martel, Switzerland in the year 1886. And Mathy Tiso specialized in manufacturing repeater and chronograph movements. Throughout the brand's early years, Mathy Tiso was contracted to produce wristwatches for the British military, and then later for the United States military in World War I, and then again in both nations for World War II. And it's believed amongst collectors that the manufacture of the famous Breguet Type 20 military pilot's chronograph was actually Mathy Tiso and not Breguet. You actually see a Type 20 that was produced by Mathy Tiso um, that has basically the same exact specifications or some minor differences. So there's some kind of speculation and a lot of talk around that kind of history and whatnot. So let's dive into the details of this specific 1970s Mathy Tiso. Um, it has some really cool features and some things that I really like while still being very much different and kind of its own thing, ultimately making it collectible, ultimately making it worthy of time on the wrist and obviously worthy of the Craft and Taylor chop and my ultimate nerd rage on it. So let's get into the details. So um, one quick thing, the watch is a manually wound chronograph. It's powered by a Valju 726 which is a modified version of the Valjoux 72, but it kind of makes it unique and ultimately collectible because there's not a ton of Valjoux 726s out there. More commonly, you'll see the workhorse uh, caliber Valjoux 72. So the chronograph operation is, is pretty much the same as any other manually wound chronograph operation. Start and stop on the top pusher and then reset on the, on the bottom pusher. Um, big oversized crown. And one interesting thing is like the Mathy Tiso logo is like this peace sign, which I think is kind of cool. This watch kind of is cool from the perspective of it's very much 70s. It's almost like Hoyer meets Rolex meets Movado meets like, I don't know. It's really an interesting watch. The case is Octavia-like in the sense that it is an EPSA style case. We talk a lot about that when we talk about like the Hoyer Octavia GMT and some of the other Octavias, they leverage this same case, which is an EPSA manufactured case. The bezel is interesting because we have this, you know, rotating timing bezel. It's Octavia-like, but it almost kind of reminds me of maybe one of the Movado subseas or something like that. It's kind of a unique bezel. And the fact that it's like a countdown bezel, you could use it almost as a timing bezel like for decompression or something like that, but this really isn't a diver's watch. But I think this is kind of like a sports chronograph. So the watch was most likely marketed towards guys that were adventuring or sporting or, or doing whatever. So kind of unique bezel configuration. The other thing that's really kind of cool too is that if you look at the three o'clock sub register here, what you'll see is that you have this almost exotic black and red checkered configuration all the way up until the 10 minute mark. So I'm not sure you know why you would have 10 minutes, you know, regatta timer is 15. So kind of an interesting thing. If somebody knows why maybe they did it in 10 minute intervals, let me know. I don't know. Uh, I've been doing some research on it and it's kind of unique and interesting. Maybe like parking meters were all 10 minutes back then. I don't know, but nice little red accents around the outside of the dial at the hour markers. And then you have an inner tachometer on the inside of the bezel. So from a design perspective, the watch is really, really striking. And the other thing too that's unique is the watch wears at like 40 to 41 millimeters and has long lugs. So it's not the smallest watch. It's also not the largest watch either, but it's kind of unique onto itself. So. Really, really interesting. The dial is what we would call a reverse panda. Uh, reverse panda meaning black with white subdials, where a panda is white with black subdials. So on wrist, it's really, really eye-catching. It's it's really cool. So the reason why I like this watch, and the reason why I think that they're becoming more noticed is you have a lot of the same parts that you would find in more popular brands like Hoyer or Movado or you know the other EPSA users of that era, but it's kind of its own thing, and there's definitely not that many 
any of them. Really interesting, I've really enjoyed having this one in the shop. And the fact that it has a Val 726, I think is a nice uplift. The execution of the dial and the inner tachymeter being this high contrast white ring with this checkered 10 minute stop point on the 30 minute totalizer is, is really, really cool. So in any case, that's why it's on my wrist. That's why I want to talk about it. I'll provide a link in the description below and up here so that you can check this out. You really don't see a lot of these. And when we came across this, was really excited to add it into our collection. So thanks as always, guys, for tuning in. We really appreciate your support. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, like it, don't like it, call me an asshole, I don't care you know, do whatever. But in any case, uh, love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and watching. If you have watch questions, always here and happy to help. Drop us a line at info at craftandtailored.com. If you haven't done so already, also follow us on Instagram at craftandtailored. And uh, yeah, well, uh, thanks for tuning in. I don't know what else I really have to say. Uh, this is a watch. I don't really want to sell it. I want to keep it in my personal collection. So um, love you. I don't know. Thanks for tuning in, bye. Woo! <laughs> Back to bed, doesn't even care. Doesn't even care, he's like, what? You're disturbing me, I'm sleeping. Cousteau. <laughs>